In our younger days, we built and sailed trimarans. When we got married, we dreamed of sailing the world. As we look forward to retirement, our dream is becoming real. We chose a sea wind catamaran, or maybe she chose us. And after a lifetime of dreams, our boat finally arrived. We are shaking her out in the Chesapeake Bay and along the mid-Atlantic coast. We christened her moments in time, reminding us to cherish each moment. The sea is calling. Come share the dream. Tony and I found two days. While the sun was scarce, the winds were right, so we packed our gear and jumped on board moments in time. We just left our slip and we're going on a two-day tour. We got cloudy skies, but we have a nice breeze. We might put one reef in, and I think we'll just tack up to Patuxent, find a place to drop anchor, and just kick back and relax. It's been a while since we've been on the boat with twin, and I just want to get out on the water and uh, actually take a nap. We'll see how it goes. We are sailing, we're sailing at over six and a half knots. Can we hit seven? Can we hit seven? Yay, seven. 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, 7.8, 7.9, 7.10, 7.11, 7.12, 7.13, 7.14, 7.15, 7.16, 7.17, 7.18, 7.19, 7
when Augusta 26 came up and it, it, it sustained for about two minutes. So we just dropped the main, no big deal. Um, I think it was just funneling down uh, the narrow pass this way to Patuxent is what it was doing. But we survived and we're here at this beautiful anchorage. Let me show you. Battle Creek, no battle ever took place here. This was named after somebody named Joseph, Joseph Battle. But even though the War of 1812 came up through there, uh, there's no historic uh, evidence that they ever came into Battle Creek. I really need to get my fishing license and get my fishing poles on board. There's some good perch fishing right in here. Could have, could have cooked dinner, caught dinner anyway. Uh, sundowner time, even though it's not even four o'clock. Okay, Tony, that was one hell of a tacking type of day, right? Yes. So tacky. <laughs> uh, moment in time. We're up here on the Monica Lounge and we're just Enjoying the peace and quiet. It's about four o'clock, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. We think we got a nice anchorage here for such a windy end. Oh, it was to a windy day. Sailing. Gust up to twenty-eight knots. We, it uh, was very windy there at the end, but it's very peaceful now. Not too windy at all. Yeah. Of course, we're tucked back in. We anchored in Battle Creek across from Long Cove. Long Cove is where I spent most of my later childhood. We actually kept our 18-foot trimaran right in this slip for many, many years. We were by ourselves in Battle Creek that evening and it was so peaceful. I can't even describe how it felt. First of all, it was very nostalgic. This was where Peter lived when I first met him. And we spent many hours out on the water canoeing and he had the 18 footer. We would go sailing and walking on the ice when the cove froze over. It was just a wonderful place. And to come back brought back all those memories. Raising the black. If you ever see us at Anchorage and we're flying the black, come by and say hi. We might share some whiskey, or better yet, bring some whiskey of your own and share it. For a limoncello martini, the drink of the evening. What you got going here, dear? A makeshift charcuterie, did I say that right? Board or plate. I didn't plan an appetizer. So. Yeah, that's pretty makeshift. <laughs> Where's the meat? We left the Skipper summer. Pete needs the meat. Well, you have nuts, that's protein, well, that's and you got cheese, and these are that's blue cheese olives. I'll take the blue they're, cheese. They're wonderful. What's she trying to do? Make me eat healthy? Come on. I don't know that blue cheese olives are healthy. They are if you soak them in vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to cook dinner, a gourmet dinner. And Admiral Tony is pouring the wine. So it's built song. You leave a comment. What's more important, pouring the wine or grilling the dinner? Pouring the wine. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Mess up my uh, my steak, Peter. Comments. I have are to take accepted. mistakes. So we are having 
a very long standing meal that we have had since we got married, which is almost 40 years ago. It is grilled vegetables, which have been marinating in a, um, it's a, it's a oil and vinegar base with lots of herbs and garlic. And we added steak to the, uh, to the marinade um, very early on. So we have steak and vegetables that we have cooked for many, many years. We're doing it a little different because we have the flat top. Usually we do long pieces and it's uh, grilled over an open flame. This is a flat top, so we did smaller pieces. So I'm sure it'll be good. It is one of my favorite recipes and we will include it in the comments below. Oh, look at all these way too many vegetables. It is a lot of vegetables. Oh my God. And but it was like one squash and one zucchini. Did you? It was two squash. Okay, well, you did not have to cut up two. It came that way, so. Okay. Um, all of that, you can't lose all that. We will use it, believe me. Skipper's Pete job is never done. <laughs> he definitely has had two. We got two. peppers from the garden. They're anchored. Peppers from the garden, squash, zucchini, onions. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh. We might be eating vegetables for breakfast or Oh lunch. my, I'm gonna close this up. Ah, pour me wine. I already did. Feed me wine. Insert it here. Insert the wine here in my veins. There you go, Admiral. This <sighs> job is never done. Yeah, life, life, life is hard. Enjoy, Peter. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is good. And this is Skipper Pete approved. Let me show you what wine this is. It is a Josh wine, so it should be very easy to get. But it's the Zinfandel, which I don't, and it's the reserve, which I don't normally see in our stores locally, but. <laughs> oh my. Now we were There's told. A commercial that uses uh, this guy. No, I'm not part of that commercial. <laughs> I am not this guy. <laughs> but we were told that we bragged on what we were cooking for dinner, so we're going to keep it vague until we're done it wasn't vague i already described it we got grilled vegetables here if we brag that's part of our experience we love our dinner yes we do peter is a very good chef Prost. much better than me although i do cook i've said it before very good breakfast and lunches what is it with this angry blue heron off in the distance bring this stuff over she will cook, she will steam in the marinade, and then we'll add the steak. Look at that. I think we have too much vegetables. That's your fault. Yeah, I'll take the vegetables. Are you ready for dinner? Where are it? Dinner's ready, the sun is setting. It was so beautiful. What an what a wonderful sunset. And then the moon came out. And oh gosh, we just sat in the cockpit and sipping wine and talking and enjoying the it was so quiet and I it this is what Peter and I have always dreamed of. Delicious, Tony. Thanks for cooking breakfast. Some bagel, egg, cheese, and sausage. Toasted bagel. Toasted in a pan. And German coffee.
Many multi-hulls are fairly light. They tend to sail or swing or ride the anchor. On the catamaran, we have a bridle, so I'm disconnecting the bridle now. The bridle kind of stabilized the bows into the wind. Goodbye, Long Cove. Thanks for a lifetime of memories. The houses along Battle Creek sure has changed a lot since the 1970s. Most of these houses were just simple farmhouses or vacation cottages. We're sailing, baby. Heading back to Solomon's. Are you comfy? It's a little chilly. It is for August. It's very chilly for August. It's nice to be out on the water. We're on a very broad reach at the moment. We're gonna make some distance here and then just drive back down the river and tie up into Solomon's. The winds are gonna be similar to what they were yesterday. About 10 knots gusting about 15. Um, should be less exhilarating because we're not pounding into the wind. We're just kind of, we're not going to run down the wind. We're just going to jive our way down, relaxing. Tony's at the helm. We're kind of just driving our way down to Patuxent, relaxing. Um, nice day to be out in the water. It's a little bit chilly for August, but I'm not complaining because it's supposed to go back up in the 90s again next week. So take these gifts as God gives them to you. We're approaching Brooms Island. And uh, when we get close to the belt farm, maybe we'll take some video. That's the farm I grew up on the water. Two points of sail. I don't like sailing. Beaten into wind. I'm running downwind, especially in a catamaran. And we're doing okay. Progress is forward. How's life, Tony? It's not too bad. Nice relaxing day, huh? The chips aren't blowing around today like they were yesterday. <laughs> Once we get that screecher rigged, I think we'd be going a little bit faster on this point of sand. Yeah. We're so close. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day though. It is. It's very peaceful. That was from a wake of a boat that went by five minutes ago. Running with the devil. Dun, dun.